station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Flippy wonders. Gigantic truck! You're right, Debo. I think that was a monster truck. Hmm, I wonder what makes a monster truck special? Good idea! We can catch up with that monster truck and find out. I'm gonna need monster truck wheels. Monster truck wheels confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. <laughs> Debo? Whoa, Debo! You have the monster truck wheels attachment? <laughs> You're like a monster truck! All right, let's ride! Debo the monster truck is ready for adventure! Crash! Crash! <laughs> hey! It's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. You really crushed that car! Hi, Blippi. I'm Megan. So, Megan, we're here to find out what makes a monster truck special. Cool. Well, I think the best way to answer your question is to show you what I do. Great! You see, I'm a monster truck with big, tall monster tires. I'm 13 feet tall. Wow. Let's do this. All right. <laughs> huh? Huh? Crash. Ah. We can't bounce as high as you, Megan. And oh boy, we're almost tipping over. Well, I have heavy duty suspension, which are special springs, so I can bounce way up and down and not tumble over. <laughs> I use them when I race and have competitions. Cool! Yeah! Welcome aboard, Flippy! Buckle up! It's time to dominate the obstacle course! Whoa! Whoa! Wow! This is awesome! How can you turn and zigzag so fast? I have something called four-wheel steering, so I can turn all four oh. wheels at once, instead of just two wheels like a lot of regular trucks. Oh. Us monster trucks are built for short, high-powered bursts of speed! was amazing! And I have the answer to my question. What makes a monster truck special? Monster trucks are a special kind of truck with big tires, heavy duty suspension, and four wheel steering. Upload answer, Debo. Bye, Megan. It was so cool to ride with you. Bye, Blippi. Keep on crushing. <laughs> Halloween is the best, Tabs. And I love trick-or-treating, too. Hey, look! A haunted house! Whoa! Look at all the decorations! So cool! You're right, Tabs. Maybe there are treats inside. Hmm, I wonder what's inside a haunted house. Let's find out. Ready, Tabs? Tabs! What? I better go into the haunted house to find Tabs. This should be fun! Hi, it's me, Blippi. I'm looking for my friend Tabs. Have you seen her? Hi, Blippi. I'm Mr. Pumpkin. Was that a ghost? Probably, yeah. I haven't seen Tabs 
But you can look for her in this house full of magical and spooky fun. Great. Maybe my friend Bones has seen Tabs. He's in the basement. I'd start by taking the stairs. All right. Whoa, wee! <laughs> it turned into a slide. <laughs> Mr. Pumpkin? Tabs? Hello? the time to Bones. Maybe he's seen Tabs. <laughs> I better sweep him up. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa, Whee! Sorry again, Bones. Whoa, maybe that flying ghost knows where Tabs is. Let's follow it. <laughs> whoa, hi, witch. Bye, witch. Hmm, well, I guess this is a dead end. I wonder where everyone went. <laughs> cool! A spinning wall! Whoa! Woohoo! Congrats, Blippi! You made it all the way through my haunted house! The tricks are over, but now it's time for the trees! But wait, I still haven't found tabs! <laughs> tabs? You were the ghost the whole time? Well, now I have the answer to my question. What's inside a haunted house? Fun, spooky skeletons, cobwebs, a talking pumpkin, spiders, a witch, and a floating tabs ghost. Upload answer tabs. Thanks for letting us have fun in your house, Mr. Pumpkin. Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! Hey, it's a garbage truck. I can see it and <laughs> smell it too. Wow, Tabs, even you think it's stinky. And you're a robot. Wait, where's that buzzing sound coming from? Oh, flies. Hey, those flies just flew into the garbage truck. Hmm, I wonder, why do flies love garbage? Good idea, Tabs. We can go into the garbage truck to find out the answer. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find out why flies love garbage. Shrinking down! Hold your breath, Tabs. We're going in. I'm in the garbage truck. Welcome! <laughs> I'm Horace the Fly. Looks like your first time here, hmm? Hi, Horace. It's me, Blippi. This is my first visit to a garbage truck. <laughs> Little stinky, huh? <gasps> Not for me. I love smells. Follow me. I'll show you around. This place is like my playground. <laughs> 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 Whoopsies. Sorry about that. Hey, Horace. Why do flies love garbage? Because it's delicious and garbage makes me fly. We've got stinky beans, moldy cheese, greasy pizza boxes, and even leftover mystery mush. <laughs> Sorry, must have been the beans. I could give you a ride to the nearest garden or fly restaurant. Horace, where are you? Everything's coming up. Garbage. Oh, is that cake? Oh, no, that was not cake. Still good though, got a dash and eat all the trash. Horace has more energy now. Aha, which means I think I have the answer to why flies like garbage. It's because they love the smell and they find food there. That's so silly. <laughs> Upload answer tabs. 
Yes, sir, bit me. For me, a garbage truck is a 24 7 all I can eat restaurant. Woohoo! Go, Horace! Thanks! Cheers, Blippi! Activate Blippi Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi! Whoa! Look at all those adorable penguins! Look at them sliding on their bellies and waddling around! Wow! I think those penguins are flying! Wait a minute! Those aren't penguins! You're right, Debo! I don't see any penguins flying! Hmm, I wonder... Can penguins fly? I'm gonna need duck feet and flippers! Duck feet, flippers, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station! Streaky down! The Blippy Mobile is ready for adventure! Gangway! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We were wondering, can penguins fly? Hi, Blippi. I'm Pepper. I really want to fly. I just need to find the elusive Shimmer Stripe Iceberg. The Shimmer Stripe Iceberg? Yeah, it's the biggest iceberg around. Once I find it, I think I'll finally be able to fly. Come on, let's go. I prefer tobogganing over waddling. It's much faster. All right. Here we go. Whee! Ice slide detour. I'm going to catch some serious air. Watch this. Yay. Whoop. Pepper? <laughs> Almost got it. We just need to find the Shimmer Stripe Iceberg. Then I really should be able to fly. Let's do it! <laughs> yeah! Whoa! Not this one. No Shimmer Stripes here. Whoa! Woohoo! Where could it be? It's the Shimmer Stripe Iceberg! Yeah! Woohoo! Here we go! Whoop. Whoa! Come on, Debo! Yeah! <laughs> All right. Are you ready to catch some serious air? We were born ready! Woohoo! to my question. Penguins can't fly, but they're great swimmers. <laughs> they also have flippers instead of wings, which help them swim through the water. Upload answer, Debo. I'm gonna go catch some serious waves now. Bye, dudes! Bye, Pepper! Whoa, that bird is carrying lots of twigs. Right, Debo. She's bringing them to her nest. Hmm, I wonder, how do birds build a nest? Good idea. Let's follow that bird and see if she'll show us. I'm gonna need wings and a grabber arm. Wings, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Ready for adventure! Hey, it's 
It's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. Oh no! What happened to your nest? Hi, Blippi and Debo. I'm Jody. My nest was damaged in a storm last night. Oh, don't worry, Eggies. Mama's on a mission to rebuild our nest. We were wondering how you build a nest. Well, I could use an extra wing to look after my two eggs. Debo would love to exit. <laughs> Oh, thanks, Debo. Now, Blippi, can you come with me to get supplies? Grass, mud and twigs. They're all near Jake's place, so we'll need to keep him busy. Very unfriendly. Let's go! Uh, nice birdie! <laughs> Jody, what's the status of that grass? Grass acquired. Time to get the mud. Mud is landing in the nest. Now all we need are some twigs from the end of this branch. This guy again? Oh, oh. Debo. <laughs> Time to build! First, I make a circle with twigs and grass. Then, add more twig circles higher on top of each other. Whoa! You use your beak to build it! The mud is like glue, holding the nest together. Your nest is fantastic, Jody. And I know the answer to my question. How do birds build a nest? Birds like Jody find natural things like grass and twigs, then use mud to hold it all together. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Bye, Blippi and Debo. Thanks for all your help. Bye-bye, Jody. Bye, eggs. I see the moon, stars, and is that a planet? Oh, it is, Tabs. Whoa, there's a whole area out there in space with the planets and the sun. It's called the solar system. Hmm, I wonder, what planets are in the solar system? Good idea, Tabs. Let's go into outer space. I'm gonna need a rocket booster. Rocket booster. Activate Blippi Station! Now it's time to get planet size! Growing up! <laughs> right, Taps, we're in space! Whoa, it's a meteor! Hey, it's me, Blippi! Welcome to Outer Space! I'm Mary the Meteor! I'm here to find out about all the planets in our solar system. There are eight planets in our solar system! Let's meet them, shall we? Closest to the blazing sun are the two smallest and hottest planets, Mercury and Venus! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. That is hot! We should go! The third planet is your home, Earth! Hi, Mom! Then there's Mars, the red planet. Mars is red because it's covered in rusty soil. <laughs> That's a lot of dust. Come on! Next up is the giant Jupiter, bigger than all the planets combined. He doesn't scare me, though. Whoa! We should go! We sure are a long way from the sun now. Welcome to Saturn and her rings. Whoa, they look beautiful. Can we get closer? Of course. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Yeah, wee. Wait, we haven't finished yet. On your left is Uranus, billions of miles from the sun, pretty cold. Now let's hear it for the furthest, windiest, and coldest planet, Neptune! Whoa! 
I have the answer to my question. What planets are in our solar system? Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Upload answer tabs. Thanks for the tour, Mary. That was wild. See ya, Blippi. Time for a shower. A meteor shower! Bye, Mary the meteor. Look at that snowflake. I agree, Debo. Snowflakes are beautiful. Hmm, I wonder, how is a snowflake made? You're right, Debo. We can go up into a cloud and find out. I'm going to need a grabber arm and wings. Grabber arm, wings, confirm. Activate Flippy Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find out how a snowflake is made. We're way up high, and the air is very cold. Isn't it so chill? I mean, welcome to my cloud. Huh. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. It looks like you're working hard. Huh. You're right. I'm a small particle now, but soon I'll be a big snowflake. Can you pass me those big water vapor clouds? The water in the cloud freezes on me, and then I grow more crystals. One snowflake can contain as many as 100 ice crystals! All of those ice crystals sure made you strong, Mimi. Here. Yeah. Go catch, Debo. <laughs> now that I'm heavy enough, I can fall towards the ground. Follow me. Yay! <laughs> Mimi, each time water vapor sticks to you and becomes ice crystals, you get even bigger and more impressive. Thanks. You have six points, same as every other snowflake, but your own one-of-a-kind design. Yep, no two snowflakes are alike. That means there's no one like me. That's why I'm called Mimi, a snowman. Perfect, I can land there with the rest of my squad. I did it, stuck the landing. Way to go, Mimi. And I have the answer to my question. How is a snowflake made? It starts as a particle in the air and collects ice crystals as it gets colder and colder, eventually forming a unique snowflake. Upload answer, Debo. Bye bye Mimi. Bye, Blippi. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. <laughs> it's Halloween! <laughs> it might make you scream, but it's so much fun to go trick or treating with everyone. Let's take a look in a haunted house. But I'm not scared, can't say the same for that mouse. Bubbling cauldrons and a witch's room. Let's go for a ride and sing this tune. Ha <laughs> ha, uh, uh, Halloween, Halloween night. Put on a costume, ready for a fright. Everyone, Halloween. 
gets up and walks You have to come and see From near and far There's a pirate spider Who will greet you with an Arr! There's so much fun On Halloween So many costumes And friends to see <laughs> Don't forget to go and trick or treat You'll have lots of candy That we can all eat such artistic designs. I wonder, how do spiders make their webs? <laughs> yes, let's go find a spider to ask. I'm gonna need wings and spider legs. Wings, spider legs, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinking down. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Bonjour, I'm Spencer. You're just in time to watch me make my latest artistic creation. Hey, it's me, Blippi. Are you about to make a web? I am. It's going to be my greatest masterpiece, the webbiest web of all time. <gasps> want to help? Yeah. I really want to learn how spiders make their webs. Time to create! Debo, I'll be right back. Oh, Blippi, you can be my holder and tester. My web will be a circle-shaped design with some triangles in the middle. What kind of string do you use to make your web? I use silk strands that I make myself and they shoot out of my stomach. To a spider or bug, these strands are as strong as steel! That is so cool! Next, the circles to complete my masterpiece! Can you hold this strand in place, Flippy? Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! It is a circle shape! Ah, perfect! Grab that strand, Blippi, to swing out for a look! Whoa! Amazing! Wait! Is that a picture of me in your web? It is you! My masterpiece! Now you can test it! Bounce against it! See if it holds! Whee! Whoa! The sticky part is for catching bugs to eat! <laughs> Your web is beautiful and useful, Spencer. 
and you answer my question. How do spiders make their webs? They use super strong and sticky silk strands to create a web with a cool circular design. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Thanks for showing us how you make a perfect web, Spencer. Bye-bye! <laughs> Au revoir! Oh, look at that cute little squirrel digging a hole! Did you see her bury that nut? So true, Debo. We do need to know the answer. I wonder, why do squirrels bury their nuts? I'm gonna need the excavator arm and wings. Excavator arm, wings, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Look, Debo! This is an acorn! It's a type of nut, and squirrels love them. Here, squirrely, squirrely! We have an acorn over here! Nuts! Nuts! I need more nuts! I can't get enough nuts! Hey! It's me, Blippi! And this is my friend Debo. He found a nut for you. Not? Oh, thanks for the acorn, Blippi. My name is Sparky. I'm kind of a nut expert. Then you have to tell us, Sparky. Why do squirrels bury their nuts? What? You don't bury your nuts? Huh? <gasps> Come with me. No time to waste. We need nuts, 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 and more nuts. This is the garden, my favorite place to collect and bury things. You know, I can bury 25 things an hour. That's a lot of burying. How do you remember where you put it all? I keep everything up here in the old furry head. My memory is amazing. You think you can remember like I can? <laughs> you want to try it? We sure do. <laughs> okay, now watch. we do. Easy peasy. Not an acorn. This is harder than I thought. <laughs> Hello, huh? yummy walnut. <laughs> we can't find any acorns. That's right, because I take special care to hide my nuts so only I can find them. That's how I keep them safe. And then I'll dig them up in the winter when I'm hungry and food is harder to find. So cool! And I found the answer to my question. Why do squirrels bury their nuts? Squirrels bury their nuts in other things so they can eat them later and have enough food during the winter. Upload answer, Devo. <laughs> Bye, Sparky! Bye-bye! Keep digging! <laughs> Whoa, Tabs, that bouncy castle is out of this world. Hmm, I wonder, what would it be like to bounce on the moon? Great idea, Tabs. We can go to the moon and find out. I'm gonna need a rocket booster, excavator arm, and frog legs. Jets, excavator arm, frog legs, confirmed. Okay, let's go explore. The Blippi Mobile is ready to blast off for adventure. And there's the moon! <laughs> yeah! Okay, time to land. Hey, that tickles! <laughs> Who are you? My name's Rocky the Moon Rock because uh, I'm a rock. Hey, Rocky. It's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. We're here to find out what it's like to bounce on the moon. Hmm, I never tried it myself, being a rock, but let me see if I can uh, uh, just uh, get up. 
All right, then let's bounce. Cha 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 cha! I'm light as a feather up here. I never knew I could have been having so much fun. Woohoo! It's amazing that we're staying up here this long. Why does it take so long to float down? Because of gravity! It's the invisible force that keeps your moon boots on the ground. It pulls things back down. But, 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 there's way less gravity around the moon than on Earth because the moon is so much smaller. That's why we float for so long. I have the answer to my question. What would it be like to bounce on the moon? It's so fun, and the bounces are really big. Because there's less gravity on the moon than there is on Earth. Upload answer tabs. We feel like we're floating, but gravity is slowly pulling us back down. Cha, 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 cha. Thanks for the greatest time that I, Rocky the Moon Rock, ever had. <laughs> Bye, Rocky! Keep on bouncing, Blippi! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> You're right, Debo. This is a kangaroo crossing. And we are in Australia. So, I guess you never know when a kangaroo might... Whoa! Bounce in! <laughs> wow! What a spectacular <laughs> jump! Hmm, I wonder, how high can a kangaroo jump? <laughs> Great idea! We'll go ask that kangaroo. I'm gonna need frog legs for this adventure. Frog legs, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> the Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. We're in the outback, so let's go find a kangaroo. Oh, hi there, I'm Rooney. What brings you to these parts in your cool looking car? Hi Rooney, it's me Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> we wanted to see how high a kangaroo can jump. Pleasure to meet ya. Well, I can jump as high as your mobile here, but I can jump higher. Whoa, <laughs> Rooney's hopping pretty high <gasps> and super fast. Ah, you're pretty fast yourself. You up for a little race, Blippi? Sounds fun. All right, let's race around that big sandstone rock down there. We call it Uluru or Ayers Rock. It's the heart of Australia. Whoa, so cool. <laughs> And the first bag here wins! You're on, Rooney! By the way, there may be a fence or two in the way. Good to know! <laughs> ah! Come on, Blippi! Up to it! the best jumper we've ever seen! And now I have the answer to my question. How high can a kangaroo jump? Kangaroos can jump up to 10 feet off the ground. Upload answer, Debo. That was fun, Blippi. Ooh, gotta cool down. That's why I'm licking my arm. It's a kangaroo thing. <laughs> Bye! Bye-bye! The big Blippi Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi! You're right, Debo. That Christmas tree doesn't have its lights on, and lights are one of my favorite parts about Christmas! Yeah, but do you know what the best part about Christmas is? Whoa! 
Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. Hi there, I'm Barry the Snowman. So, Blippi, do you know what the best part about Christmas is? I'm not sure. Hmm, I wonder, what is the best part about Christmas? Huh? Oh, you have a note. Ooh, ooh, look and see what it is. <laughs> the note says, in order to find the true meaning of Christmas Day, you must all go on this adventure over that way. It's an adventure with clues that lead you to more clues. Let's follow the arrow this way. Oh no, this gate is locked. Hmm, maybe I can help. Way to go, Barry! Whoa, look! Those candy canes lead up the hill! Hey, look up there! There's a note on the last candy cane. Across the zip line, you must go to find your next clue. Ho, ho, ho! There's a line, but nothing to hold on to. How do we get across? Eh, uh, maybe we can try my nose again? I can help. Hi, I'm Candy. I know a zippy way to get across. Look, just hold on tight. Thanks, Candy. <laughs> oh, look! Wondering what next to do? Go through the forest to find your next clue. Ooh, there's a forest trail. This way. Hmm, which way should we go? I think it's this one. Oh, it's this one. I'm positive. Hi, hi. I'm Holly. And it's your lucky Holly day. I can show you the way out of the forest. Follow me. Thanks, Holly. <laughs> it is the same Christmas tree, Debo. Oh, look. There's a clue. For your Christmas to be all that, look for a clue under a nearby hat. Is it your hat, Barry? Did you plan this entire Christmas scavenger hunt? Yeah, it was me. <laughs> I, I came up with this plan to bring everyone together. Uh, because that is the best part about Christmas. Oh, your final clue. In order for Christmas to truly be, you need to put an ornament on top of our town's Christmas tree. This is the Christmas tree. But how will we get the star on top? Hmm, <gasps> wait, we can make a holiday friends ladder. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, you all look fantastic. And I have the answer to my question. One of the best parts about Christmas is spending the holiday with friends <laughs> and family. <laughs> Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Happy Holidays, everyone! Activate Blippi Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi! <laughs> I don't think your guitar is working right, Debo. Hmm, I wonder. How does a guitar work? <laughs> You're right, Debo. Let's go find out. <laughs> I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> Shrinking day! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Rock and roll! That sounded great. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. I'm picky. We were wondering how a guitar works. Can you show us? I can, but I can't work the guitar by myself. I'll need your help to play it right. 
Okay. When I pick a string, it goes back and forth really fast, which makes a note. Whoa. Whoa. You're right, Debo. My string is much thicker than yours. I bet it's harder to balance for you. The faster the string goes back and forth, the higher the note. <laughs> How do you make other notes on a guitar? That's why I needed your help. Hey, Debo, could you move towards the far end of the neck, mate? <gasps> now back towards me. <laughs> Solo! <laughs> well, that explains how different notes are made. Why does the guitar have such a big body? That's the part that makes it love! Thank you! Hey, come stand over here on the soundboard! We're going up and down, too! When I pluck the string, the whole guitar body vibrates, and the sound hole there makes it super loud! Like, a, oh, like shouting while cupping your hands over your mouth! <laughs> Hello! Wow! That was loud! Right! Practice is over! Time to jam! One, two, three, four! Thank, Thank you! <laughs> and now I have the answer to my question. How does a guitar work? Guitars work because the strings vibrate and make sound, which is made louder by causing the whole hollow guitar body to vibrate. Upload answer, Debo. Bye bye, Picky. Bye, Blippy. Bye, Debo. Remember to always keep rocking. And even bouncier! Wow, what an amazing sandcastle! Wave incoming! Oh no! Looks like that castle was no match for that wave. Huh, I wonder, can I build a sandcastle that doesn't get washed away? <laughs> yeah, you're right, Tebs. There is only one way to find out. I need to build a sandcastle of my own. I'm gonna need the excavator arm and spider legs. Excavator arm, spider legs confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. The Blippy Mobile is ready for action. Let's go make a sandcastle that won't get washed away. Now we need to make ourselves sandcastle size. Drinking down! Feel that cool ocean breeze, Tabs. Whoa! Hi there! I'm Krabby the Crab. Pleasure to meet you! Ooh, crocky! I don't know my own strength! Hi, Krabby! It's me, Blippy! And this is my Blippy Mobile! I love it! <laughs> so, you out taking a fun ride? Actually, Krabby. I'm here because I'm curious if I can build a sandcastle that won't get washed away. You came to the right crab. I'm a planner, digger, and a builder. I can help you, Blippi. Great. So the first thing we're going to do is build a moat. That's a fancy word for a hole. You see, the water goes into the hole and doesn't wash away what's behind it. So let's dig. <laughs> Dig, 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 Woo! Wow, what a hole! Now let's build a sandcastle! You're right, Tabs. We are going to need a shovel. Finished! Success! You already built it, Krabby. And our moat is perfect. The moat's the hole we dug all around the sandcastle. Great moat! And best sandcastle ever! Wave incoming! 
The moat worked, Krabby. This means I think I have the answer to my question. Can I build a sandcastle that doesn't get washed away? I can by making a hole around it to catch the water. Upload answer tabs. Thanks, Krabby. See you later, Blippi. Keep on digging. <laughs> Look at those ducks floating in that pond! Exactly, Debo! There's got to be a reason why ducks don't sink. Hmm, I wonder, how do ducks float? Good idea! Let's go ask that one! I'm gonna need duck feet and wings! Duck feet, wings confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Here, ducky, ducky! Here, little ducky! Whoa! Big ducky! Hang on, Debo! Hey! It's me, Blippi, and this is Debo! Well, hello there, Blippi and Debo! I'm Declan. Welcome to the pond! You here for a swim? Well, we're actually here because we really want to know how you float. I never really thought about it. Oh, uh, us ducks do paddle with our feet a lot. Want to take a look? Good idea. I'll check them out. Hmm, we can't get close enough. You're right. We have our binoculars. Whoa! What do you think? You sure have webbed feet. Debo is right. You stopped paddling and you're still floating. Must not be my feet that make me float. Oh, I have an idea. Floating may have something to do with our feathers. Yo, Terry, let Blippi have a look under your feathers. It's a feather tunnel in here. And the feathers are kind of oily. Here again, we make a special oil that keeps our feathers waterproof. Waterproof feathers! Whoa! Is that a bubble? Bubbles? What do they do? It's air! Air bubbles are floating in the feathers like a balloon. Oh, so the bubbles help us ducks float. Hey, Terry, we have air bubbles floating in our feathers. It's true. And now I have the answer to my question. How do ducks float? Duck feathers trap air bubbles and air floats in water. So, ducks float. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Thanks for everything, Declan. Bye bye Keep floating. Bye, Blippi. Whoa, look at that! It's amazing how big dinosaurs were! You're right, Debo. There were bigger dinosaurs than the T-Rex. Hmm, I wonder, what was the biggest dinosaur? Good idea, Debo! We can go back in time and find the biggest dinosaur! I'm gonna need wings and extendo legs! Wings, extendo legs, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! Going back in time! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Okay, where is the biggest dinosaur? Whoa! The rock is moving! Oh! We aren't sitting on a rock. We're on a very big dinosaur's back. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. Hi, Blippi and Debo. I'm Angie, the Argentinosaurus. Whoa! That is a big name for a big dino. I have to break it up to say it right. R Gen Teen O Sor. Us. That's me! So, 
I'm on my way to meet a friend. Oh, do oh, you want to come along? Thanks for inviting us. Do you want to race? I bet you can run super fast. Actually, I walk slowly. That's part of being so big. Plus, I need to snack to keep up my energy. I eat hundreds of pounds of plants every day. You want to get a selfie of you and all of Angie? Good luck, Debo. Whoa, you're really long. I'm about 130 feet long and 40 feet tall. That's as long as three school buses and a little taller than a telephone pole. Yum. The hill we go! I'll be your bridge! Whoa. <laughs> it tickles! <laughs> yeah! This is where I meet my friend. Hey! Good shot, Devo! We're both in it! Oh, and look! So is my friend! Sorry I'm late! Hey! This is my good friend, Nina! Nina, this is Bleepy and Debo. <laughs> They're looking for the biggest dinosaur. That's an easy one. You're the biggest dinosaur around, Angie. Oh, I guess I am. <laughs> so cool. And I have the answer to my question. What was the biggest dinosaur? One of the biggest dinosaurs was the Argentinosaurus. It was 130 feet long and ate plants and leaves all day. Upload answer, Debo. Bye, Angie and Nina. Bye, Blippi. Bye, Blippi. Whoa, Tabs, look at this amazing rainforest. You're right. I bet all kinds of interesting animals are in there. I wonder, what kind of animals live in a rainforest? I'm gonna need spider legs and the grabber arm. Spider legs, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Wow, this place is so green. They must get a lot of rain here. Yes, we do actually. Hey, it's me, Blippi. This is Tabs. Hello, I'm Bye, the giant panda bear. Glad to meet you. We want to know what kind of animals live in a rainforest. Can you show us around? Yes, okay, but I am meeting my sister for lunch and I'm always late, so I'd like to be there first for once. We won't be long. Super! Let's go see what we can find. Yeah! Thanks, bye! I do get a little hungry before lunch, so could you help me collect some bamboo on the way? Just for a snack. <laughs> sure! Whoa! This bamboo is as tall as a house! The juiciest shoots are at the top! Would you mind? Whoa! 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 Lovely! Whoa, look! There's a monkey! He's a golden monkey! Hi, Fred! <laughs> Sorry, Fred. All pandas love bamboo. It's all we ever eat, actually. Not even ice cream? Not even ice cream! Unless it was bamboo flavor. <laughs> Could you get me a little more bamboo? All this chewing makes me terribly hungry. Sure thing! There's a nice stalk just there. Whoa, little red bugs. Oh, it's Reese and Fiona. They're red bamboo weevils. Hi, buggies. Oh, no, I'm going to be late again. Sorry, we need to go. Oh, not again. I'm sorry, but I was helping my new friends, Blippi and Tabs. Hello. <coughs> Could I possibly share some of your bamboo, please? Thanks for the tour, Bai. You really helped me answer my question. What kind of animals live in the rainforest? 
golden monkeys, red beetles, and giant panda bears who love eating bamboo. <laughs> Upload answer tabs. I think it's time for a snack of our own. <laughs> See you later. Bye bye bye. Activate Blippy Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippy. Whoa! Ah, uh, more junk! Oh, oh, look! A shark's tooth! Whoa, Debo! There sure are a lot! Hmm, I wonder, how many teeth does a shark have? Great idea, Debo! We can go into the ocean and find out. I'm gonna need duck feet, a grabber arm, and a propeller. Duck feet, grabber arm, propeller, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Oh! Hi there! I'm Dr. Paula the Pilot Fish. I'm a shark dentist. Hey! It's me, Blippi! And this is Debo. <laughs> We're here to learn how many teeth a shark has. Well, you swam into the right corner of the ocean. I'm about to visit my friend and patient, Larry. Hello! I think I have a loose tooth. We'll find out! We pilot fish help keep the shark's mouth clean in exchange for protection from fish who might chase us. Wow! What a great friendship! Whoa! Someone called a tooth fairy! Let's take a look. Open wide, Larry! Oh, nothing to worry about. Come on in. The water's fine. As you can see, there's not just one row of teeth. There's row after row after row. <laughs> Go ahead and close now, buddy. Uh, maybe keep your mouth open just a little bit, Larry. Whoa! Another tooth on the loose! That's why Larry's got all these rows of teeth. They're waiting in line for when the front teeth fall out whoop, and need to be replaced. Happens all the time. That's kind of like us humans when we're kids. Let's count. One, two, three, fifty-six, 57, 58. I sure wish sharks could floss. 213! Oh, that sure is a lot of teeth to take care of. You're right. There can be as many as 300 teeth in a shark's mouth at any given time. And get this, through his whole life, Larry here can grow and lose as many as 50. That's a huge number! <laughs> All done, Larry! Woohoo! Wee! <laughs> Bless you! And I got the answer to my question How many teeth does a shark have? Sharks have several rows of teeth, can have as many as 300 teeth at one time, and 50,000 over the course of their lives! <laughs> Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for teaching us all about teeth, Dr. Paula. Bye, Blippi! Don't forget the floss! <laughs> It's so hot out today, but my popsicle is melting down my hand. Hmm, I wonder, why do popsicles melt down my hand? What's that, Tabs? Go into that ice cream truck and ask an expert? That's a great idea. I'm gonna need wings, the excavator arm, and duck feet. Wings, excavator arm, duck feet, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station.
the Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find out why my popsicle always melts down my hand. Shrinking down! Woohoo! I'm in the ice cream truck. Hi, welcome to my neighborhood. I'm Sherry Pop. Glad you popped in. Hi, Sherry. It's me, Blippi. I was wondering why my popsicle always melts down my hand. Oh, I know that one. But first, let's have some frozen fun. All right. Woohoo! We're ice cream boarding. <laughs> We're sprinkle sliding. I'm chocolate fudge sparkly. Sherry, are you melting? Yes, I'm melting because I'm very warm. But I'll go cool off in the freezer and I'll be fine in a sec. Mmm, ice cold. How's it going in there, Sherry? It's freezy breezy. Now I'm all set. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, it looks super freezing in there. Yep, it's cool to be cold when you're a frozen dessert like me. My ideal temperature is 32 degrees Fahrenheit, zero degrees Celsius. If I keep cool like that, then I won't melt. Good to know. I see you're like my popsicle from earlier. When it was out of the freezer and in the heat of the blippy mobile, it melted on me. Sounds like your popsicle should have come for a visit. You're right. Which means we have the answer to my question. Why my popsicle melts down in my hand. It's because... Popsicles will melt if they get too warm. That's why we keep them in the freezer. Upload answer tabs. Sherry, thank you for a totally tasty adventure. It was so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Stay cool, Flippy. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs>